Well, this is kind of the first time I've done something like this before. Um, I'm gonna do a makeup video. I've always been really jealous of the people that have these incredible makeup channels. Um, and I don't know if anyone knows, but before I was an actress, I was actually a makeup artist. And it's something that I really, really love and I don't get to do enough. Um, and I just thought, I've got some downtime. Um, I'm on my own, I'm bored. And I just got sent a bunch of Napoleon products and I thought maybe we could all play with them together. All right, so I've taken everything out of the box. And the first thing that I took out is this awesome foundation. It's called Stroke of Genius by Napoleon. And you twist it and then you squeeze it and then it comes out of this brush. And so of course you could use this brush to apply it, but honestly, I just don't have time for that. And I just use like a bigger brush and it's easier to blend in. It takes half the time and I think it buffs in much nicer. Now this foundation is like a bit of a fuller coverage, which I love, but it's super nice and it's still quite dewy as well. I like that. Okay, so I'm just finishing buffing in this foundation and it's a foundation that I've never used before and it is so pretty. It's super dewy, but it's got such a nice coverage. I'm really loving that. I'm gonna move on to eyes. Normally I do my eyes last, but I've never used these eyeshadows before, so I'm not really sure about the, um, the pigment or the, the foliage. But I just picked up this long wear eye primer. So I'm gonna put a bit of that on my eyelid first. And you can just kind of use any brush for this, but it's pretty clear, so you can't see it, which is good. I like that. I'm sorry about these heinous nails. I took all my nails off and then chewed them all off and I can't believe I'm doing this video with these skanky nails, but whatever. Okay, so that's done. Now I think, so I've been sent these beautiful, um, they're called eye discs, which is super pretty. This one's my favorite color. It's called Tawny Temptress, but they've also sent um, some loose eye dust, which I don't normally use because it gets a bit messy, but they're really pretty colors. So I'm gonna try, um, I think this one, this honey one, it's called Honey Child. Honey Child. So this is the one that I'm gonna use. Ooh, it's really pretty. So it opens up like that. And I'm gonna get one of my, okay. I'm just gonna put this on my lids. Whoa, now that is highlighty. Pretty, really pretty. Love that. Now I'm gonna get the color that I love the most, which is the Tawny Temptress. And I'm gonna grab one of my blending brushes. Whoa, very pigmenty, like that. And I'm just gonna put it on the end and then really lightly blend it into the crease. Don't press too hard with your hand because you'll get really harsh lines and it's all about making sure that it's completely blended in. And you've got no lines. Blend, blend, blend. It's a really pretty color. I love that. So 
So I just like to go back and forth, kind of like little tiny circles, but super light with your, um, with your, with your, the, the, use your big girl words, super light with your touch, because as soon as it starts getting too heavy, it's really hard to blend. And I'd get, like, if you find that it's not blended enough, I'll get a clean brush and I'll kind of go over it that has no product on it and just blend it a little bit more. So there's no lines whatsoever. I really like to put um, eyeshadow underneath my eyes. So I'm gonna try and find, I've got so many bloody brushes in here. I'm just gonna get like a smaller brush and I'm gonna put this color underneath my eye too. Is real pretty. Okay, I might just go over, might even put a little bit more of this color on. It's really nice. This color would be really beautiful with blue eyes too. Also nice with darker tones. Love. Pretty. Then they've set this darker colour, which I like to put kind of like at the ends. Um, it's called espresso to go. So I'm just gonna get a brush that kind of So many bloody brushes here, I can never find anything. This will do. So I'm just gonna get a little bit of this because I don't know how strong it is. And then I'm just gonna put, like kind of like just dab it on the ends and just from the corner, just kind of like flick it to the middle. Use a little more. Love that. Pretty colors together. Let's quickly do the other one. I'm just gonna grab my other blending brush and just kind of like blend that through a little bit more. I'm all about blend, 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 blend. I hate seeing sharp lines, even if it's a look. If they're trying to do sharp lines, I don't know, I just hate it. Um, but yeah, I love that. I'm just gonna get my foundation brush, you see? There was a little foliage. And you can even go back, I think I'm gonna go back with the, um, the loose powder and just do a little bit more just on the lid here. It's a really pretty color. Love that. Amazing, I love what we've got so far. <clears throat> okay, so they've also sent me this really cute um, contouring palette. So inside, it's got a highlighter, a, a blush, and a bronzer. So I use, I've got a brush like this, and this is what I like to use my highlighter with. I'm just gonna put a little bit there. Oh, it's really nice. Put a little bit up here and a little bit there. Sometimes a little bit on the end of my nose and on top of my lid. It's a really nice highlighter. And then I'm gonna get, drop everything. Ugh. I kind of 
kind of a brush like this is what I like to do my like bronzing with. And this just below the cheekbone. And up a little bit on the temples. Shape the face. And then on the jaw. Oh yeah, that's great. Down the neck. And also with this, don't press too hard either, because as soon as you press too hard, you can see it on your face and it looks really muddy. And you don't want that. Mm, really pretty. Okay, and then I'm going to get another brush for my blush. Got to have a clean one I can find. This will do. Just something like this. <clears throat> And I never wear too much blush, but just really lightly on your cheeks when you smile. Oh, that's really, really nice. So pretty. Okay. Now, they've sent me a couple of mascaras. This one is called Own It. And the brush kind of looks like this. Which is cool, which will separate your eyelashes and not make them look all sticky and clumpy. And this one's called Permission to Lengthen. Yes. Let me give this one a go. Sorry, you're looking up my nose. Oh well. Hopefully there's no boogers up there. Love that. Oh my god. The mascara face. Love. Not bad. Now they also sent me this really cute um lipstick and I can't for the life of me find it so look how messy this is now stuff everywhere but it's up oh, it's in the open your eyes section so this is like it's um it's kind of like a glossy lipstick so it's not it's really easy to put on one to have in your bag just to give your lips a little extra color this one's called Lauren which is cute it's one of my best friend's names. And it's just kind of like your lip colour. So it's just like a neutral colour. I think it go really nicely with the tones in the eyeshadow. Oh my god, I love that. Heaven. Well, you know what? I don't want to do too much more because I hate the look of too much makeup, but... I think this is a good every day, going out on a date, girl out on the town, girl going to work. Um, and these are all Napoleon products, which are products I never used and now I love. You know what I'll do while we finish off? For the setting translucent powder, I can see that I'm a little shiny. I'm going to get 
get this brush. Just on the T-zone, we like it to be a little bit shiny on your cheekbones. And voila! Not bad. Well, that's it, guys, for now. I've got so many more fun products and colours that I want to try. Um, lots of beautiful reds and pinks and different eye colours, but that's for another day. But thank you for watching. It was way funner than I thought it was going to be.